Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Editor's Essentials. I'm Premiere Gal, and in this episode, you're going to learn essential graphics in Premiere Pro CC. Now, in every video you create, you will use some level of motion graphics, whether it's a logo opener, a lower third, or just some captions. And if you do not have any motion graphics experience at all, creating a well-designed graphic can be a little bit intimidating. But let me show you how to create a basic on-screen animating text that has functional, responsive design. And I'll show you how you can save it as your own template so you can use it over and over again inside of Premiere Pro. Then at the end, I'll recommend some motion graphics templates that you can buy, which will make your videos look more professional. All right, so let's jump into Premiere Pro. To start, make sure that you're in the graphics workspace of Premiere Pro. Then from the essential graphics panel, go to edit. And then here, let's click on new item to create new text. Let's replace this new title text with anything. I'll just type out sample title. You will also see that a graphics layer was automatically created in your sequence. Everything that we make here in the essential graphics panel will be contained within this graphics layer. So then I'm going to adjust the font face to make it more modern, bold font, so that way it's easy to read. And you can adjust the size as well. Next, let's make a rectangle backdrop. Let's resize it by pulling on a corner like so. Also make sure it's below the text layer in the essential graphics panel so you can see the text on top. Let's change the appearance of this rectangle to be orange. And now to give it more of a neat look, let's duplicate the rectangle from the panel here by right clicking and duplicating. Then using the position horizontal controls, let's move it to the right a bit and let's change it to another color. How about a white? And then you can make some more adjustments to the position so we have a nice white outline accent to the style and design of the title. Next, we want to make the shapes here to adapt to the changing of the text. So if you ever wanted to type something new here, it would automatically adapt for you and you don't have to resize the shapes again. So this is where we use the responsive design pinning features. First, let's select the first rectangle shape, and then we want to pin it to the text layer. So select the text layer, then hit the center button here to pin it to all sides. Now when we type in new text, it automatically adapts, but now we have to pin the second rectangle shape as well. So let's undo that typing and then select the second rectangle from the panel. Then let's pin this to the first rectangle and also pin it to all sides. Now when we type new text, both rectangles adapt. Also, this text grows to the right because the text layer is left oriented. If you want it to grow on both sides, you would need to center align it. And if this was on the right side of the frame, you would want it to align to the text on the right. So now on to quick animation. First, select off the graphic layer in the timeline, then select it again. And here you will see that there is responsive time controls. And this will indicate how long we want the intro and outro animations to be. So since this is 30 frames per second, let's set the intro and outro animation to 15 frames by typing 15 to make the animation half a second each. Now you will see these white handles at the end and the beginning of the graphic layer. And as you grab the end of the clip and change the duration, you will see that these white handles remain the same, which is awesome. Now to animate, since the shapes are pinned to text and each other, we only need to animate the text layer and the shapes will follow. So first let's select the text layer here in the essential graphics panel. Now move the playhead to the end of the first handle in the timeline, and then hit the toggle animation icons on the position, scale, and rotation. And then let's pull it back to the beginning and let's rotate 120 degrees, pull the horizontal off screen, and then scale it down to zero. So now over the period of that first handle, it flips up off screen. Now let's do the same to the outro animation. Let's set the scale position and rotation animation, then pull it off screen, scale it down, and rotate it. 
Now when we play it back and see the animation in action, it looks awesome. And that was pretty easy to do. Then once you're done, you can just right click and export it as a motion graphics template and save it to your local templates folder. So then when you go to your browse tab, you can search for it there and you can use this template as much as you want in any future projects. If you want more advanced animation templates, you can purchase tons of awesome broadcast and social media transitions and title packs from Envato Market or Envato Elements, which I've linked to below. After you download any templates, especially motion graphics templates, you can import them into your central graphics panel. And I have a full tutorial on how to import multiple motion graphics templates at once, which I'll link to below. So that's all for this video and let me know if you would like more tips and tricks videos as a part of this Editor's Essential series. I'd love to know what topics you would like covered. Please leave a comment below and I'll take a look. And if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when we publish new tutorials every week. See you next time. Bye.